The world of dating has changed. If you can't make her pants wet with a sexy text, you ain't ever gonna get laid, bro. Is that what we're learning today? We're learning how to make panties wet. Remotely. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and be notified every time we release another stupid video. Now that's out of the way, let's go on with it. The guy that we're going to be looking at today is called The Attractive Man. Now, my name's Matt Artisan, and we're gonna be bringing you some of the best, most cutting edge dating tips and secrets. Matt Artisan, he's the attractive man. Attractive yeah. man, show us the way. <laughs> You've got to have some big, big boy balls to call yourself the attractive man. What is not to like? That man is groomed. I just don't know who's got the audacity to call themselves that. Did you know that this little bad boy right here can be the key to a woman's naughty imagination? Oh, she's already got her top strap off her shoulder. Woo! When you can turn a woman on through text using the word for word examples that I'm about to give you. So we can literally copy and paste his text and we're going to turn any, any girl on. It's an art form, Sophie. It's a magic spell. If you get it wrong, something different will happen. Oculus repair room. The glorious, hit him high, hella high and historical, hey, holocaust, hey. That's better, isn't it? It's that powerful. So it's that powerful, holy shit. It's that powerful. It's that powerful. And I'm gonna give you some of my dirtiest secrets from my best-selling book, Turn Her On Through Text. He's written a book about this. You're telling me there is a book in existence on how to turn a girl on through text. This is, someone's, someone's written this in a book. From my best-selling book. Does he mean his best-selling book? or it's a best-selling book. Number five is the word association game. This one works really well. When I first tried this was when I was writing Turn Her On Through Text. It was about 12 or maybe one in the morning and I was really in the zone trying out different things that are now in the book. I work all through the night trying out all my different techniques so we can find the best concoction for turning these women on. <laughs> and so I sent the following text to a girl that I was dating and it worked a little bit too well. Well, she got so turned on that she begged me to come over right then and there. And she actually got mad at me because I didn't let her come over. So a word of warning, before you send any of the following texts. Boning oh alert, boning alert. Use these techniques at your own risk. You may be fucking a woman before you know it. Or she might get a little upset at you. He really thinks a lot of his techniques, doesn't he? Let's play the word association game. I say a word and then you say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, go. Ocean. Death. Relaxed. Soothed. Bite. Wait, 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 Soothed. wait, wait. How is soothed and bite? How is that related? Down. Spank. Harder. LOL. Dripping. Ah! Yes, you're turning me on. You win. Well done, you have completed the exam. Like you are turning me on. Imagine actually playing word association with Matt Artisan. Okay, guys, word association. Oh my god, I love word association. Um... <laughs> Uh, a chocolate. Um, uh, cocoa. Uh, a tree. Photosynthesis. Uh, spit roast. No, uh, Eiffel Tower. Rusty trombone. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, Matt? The finger my ass? My <gasps> turn? No, one more. No, it's not your turn. You gotta be begging me to come over <laughs> before I'll stop. Dominated. Pass. Ha ha. If I saw a text that said pass, ha ha, I'd be like, she's not into it. But he's just like, no, let's keep going. Whips. Dominated. Chains. Dominated. Rape. By the way, man, make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. I'm always dropping tons of value there. Guys, I'm dropping value wherever I go, so you might want to catch some of that. Good at sex. Sex. Good at that. You like it. I'll keep you in the bedroom so long to put your face on the back of a milk carton. And Bobby. Come looking for you. And they Bobby. won't find you though. You'll be gone like a ghost. You'll be like a sex ghost. Or come out on Halloween or Valentine's Day. Be like, knock, knock. Who's there? Trick or treat. Sex. Bobby. And let me know if you have any other techniques that have worked for you for turning women on. I'd love to know about it. Because I'm desperate for more techniques because none of the ones that I've got are working right now. Number four is movie or book quotes. This is great, especially if you haven't actually slept with her yet, you're still kind of in the early stages of the relationship and you don't want to just say something sexual right out of the blue. So, okay, so it's just about being subtle, just taking it easy. Subtlety. Hey, I need your opinion on something. 
<gasps> sure. Why has that woman got the same voice as the first one? Because they're all AI robots that he's texting. Uh, My friend who? Kelly was reading this novel and was starting to get really turned on. So I grabbed the book from her grubby little paws, lol, and saw what she read and began to get really mesmerized by this text. Look, Matt Artisan, attractive man. This is a very loose and convoluted segue, okay? Before we keep going, I just want to point something out. If Sam. she's not creeped out and wants to run a mile from you, then she's easy and you'll probably get to fuck her. What did it say? It said, Ooh. he lunges at me, pushing me against the wall of the elevator. Before I knew it, he's got both of my hands in one of his, and, and you don't want to like just say something my sexual head. And right out of the blue. And you don't want to just say something sexual right out of the blue. And he's pinning me to the wall using his hips. His other hand grabs my ponytail and yanks it down, bringing my face up and his lips are on mine. And you don't want to just say something sexual right out of the blue. So his idea of turning on a girl through text is to just send her a passage from an erotic novel. That is so weird. Does he have that saved so we can just copy it to the clipboard and send it like that? There's nothing sexier than a command C and a command V. That's what I think. I moan into his mouth, giving his tongue an opening. What? He takes full advantage. Let me moan in your mouth. His no, tongue no. expertly exploring my mouth. I have never been kissed like this. Like, Matt, it's dinner time. Why are you messaging people this in this early hour of the evening? I moan into his mouth. Yep, yeah, sorry, just cutting up an onion. Thanks, mate. Wait, let's just quickly check out his faces. <laughs> just gonna get him so wet, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's gonna do it. And if you want to see her reply and what I did next, you're going to have to get turn her on through text. You need your shitty book to tell us how girls are going to respond to an erotic passage. I moan into his mouth, giving his tongue an opening. He takes full advantage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. That's not good. Number three is using a role play. These are great because role plays are fantasy. They're not real. So you can get away with sending a dick pic. <laughs> it's not my dick, it's my role play dick. So you can get away with saying some pretty risque or outlandish things because it's no big deal. Call me a prude, but I kind of thought what he'd already said was a bit risque and outlandish. I what thought about so you? too. Hey, I'm bored. Let's fly to Vegas and elope. I was just thinking the same thing, lol. I'll be damned, she was thinking the exact same darn thing. But where should we go on our honeymoon? I have always wanted to go to the Bahamas. Could you imagine us in our little beach villa, watching the sunset as I wrap you in my strong arms and ah! look deep into your eyes and dot dot dot, your turn. And then he just sends a, he sends a pic of his bicep. He's like, around you baby huh it's 2:15 in the afternoon and matt has just been like yo let me send you a short essay that i wrote <laughs> in gcse english no keep going i scoop you up in my arms oh no why have you done that why well, you really set him off now feel a surge of energy in your body as i spin you around leaving you slightly faint and dizzy there's nothing sexier than feeling slightly faint and dizzy no <laughs> Do you see how you need to start using descriptive language and imagery in your text if you want to turn her on? That's the same reason that women are absolutely addicted to romance novels. They're like crack to women. Just give me one more hit. Just give me one more best-selling hit. Just pump the eroticism into my veins. And again, if you want to learn how to do that, get turn her on through text. Please, I'm desperate. I, I, I noticed that I haven't got any sales yet. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Next is simply describe what you do to her. Ah! I have a big test today. I'm so stressed out. I hope she's not a schoolgirl, Matt. Oh. I wish I was there. If I were, dot, dot, dot. That's a nice little cliffhanger text. She has to respond to that. Yeah, she has to respond because you sound like a moron. You haven't finished your sentence. And she literally goes, what? You'd feel me come up. Ah! Oh my God, no, 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 not again. I feel like we're missing a lot of the context here because if you imagine what it looks like on a phone, if you've got a ratio where it looks like this, this, Chill the fuck out or leave her alone. Joe is also offering his own tips on how to turn women on. Feel me come up behind you and pull you in close to me. My strong hands out. Ah, 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 ah. 
Oh my god, that is horrible. Imagine. Oh my god, stop! Why does he keep going? Who's that? Sex bullet. Sex bullet. Sex bullet. Sex bullet. Every letter sends a shiver down her spine. All oh, the women on the other side of their phones. Oh, like, uh, 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 Matt. Uh, 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 stop sending your sexy words. You feel rejuvenated and ready to take on the world. My God, this is like a mix between um, erotic texting and a motivational speech. It's like a guided meditation, but sexy. How are you going, guys? It's me, Jason Stevenson. Thanks for joining us for another sleep meditation. Um, today, my brother is going to be guiding us through a special guided meditation that he's he's actually done some work on. It's a big surprise, so let's give him a nice warm welcome and see what he's got. Take it away, Brother Bowl Man. Thank you, brother. So, everybody, just close your eyes. I'm going to guide you through the next two hours of a sexual visualization meditation. Okay, so lie back and just listen to the sound of my bowel, okay. Now I just want you to imagine, close your eyes, focus on your breath. Imagine you are lying on a bed of pillows, ready to fall asleep. And then you just feel my fingernails scraping up your thigh. A, a, a brother bowl man, I'm what? so sorry, this is not what I had in mind. It, it's very sexual. I think we're going to have to start from square one. All oh, right. Okay. Well, you did say that I could have a go, so I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah, but yeah. Uh... I give you lists of descriptive words. They're fucking thesaurus. And anybody can do this. You can literally just copy and paste them. What if you're, you know, you go out. Yeah, so we, we've we painted this picture of this sexy Casanova. Yeah, what, what are they going to do? You're going to bring his book to the date? Hi! Hi! Um, should we, should we sit down? Do you, do you know what you're going to order? <laughs> I think I might get the, uh, the chicken. I would like to uh, get strawberries and place them across your breasts and cover them with chocolate and lap them up with my dog-like tongue, 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 uh, and uh, uh, powerful hands. Um... That, that's a bit... That, that, that's a bit forward, actually. It's voice messages and voice notes. It's just gonna be like moan into the, moan into the phone. Do some ASMR. Just, you're gonna turn her on with your tonality, with your voice. You can tell I don't have the sexiest Marlon Brando or Morgan Freeman voice. Morgan, Morgan Freeman's, Freeman's voice, voice is, is not sexy. sexy. It is majestic. It talks a bit like this. Imagine Morgan Freeman saying these sexy texts. I want to scoop you up. I in scoop my... you up in my arms. You feel a surge of energy flood your body. And here's something that can make pretty much anybody's voice sound more seductive: is just get really close to the phone like this. Oh, I'm my own. Or maybe you just have one special woman that you know has been a little aloof. She's a little seems a little out of your range. If you can send her some messages, whether it be text or voice like this, then trust me, she's gonna run a mile. <laughs> be blowing up your phone. Hopefully that's not all she blows. Oh! No, we can't put that in there. Edit that out. No, 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 no. You did the opposite of editing that out. You added it in and put an edit on top of it. Because not only is it gonna show you how to use alliteration and descriptive imagery. Alliteration? English language, honey. Whoa, alliteration. alliteration. English language. I'm gonna put a couple of zeros in there. Yeah, maybe oh, a a Guys, if you don't want to turn a girl on, you could just go to him just to help you with your creative writing. I think yeah, yeah, you should. He'd really elevate your fucking B-Tech English. And by the way, I have a lot more videos on this channel on what to do in various textual situations. I'd rather scoop my eyeballs out. Oh, he's so handsome. He's so stupid, but he's handsome. How did I get here? I'd be wondering that too. Me sat here with four beautiful actresses. Uh, I mean, I mean women. Well, I have a secret. 
I wrote my best-selling book, which is my best-selling book I've ever written out of all the books that I've never written. I wrote it with these strong hands all on my own to help you go from texting to erecting to sexing. No, edit that out. But you don't just have to listen to me. Listen to these real testimonials from real women. There's okay. something wrong with this guy! <laughs> and I mean, I don't know what people like in this world, but that is what I like. It's just weird, isn't it? Why have vaginas sewn itself up? Please don't ever touch me. I feel quite bad for this guy. This is online. Someone's actually giving advice. No wonder all of these women that I talk to have such bad time with men. They're probably all purchasing this fucking book. Right. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, I, I just, I can't read these, it makes me feel ill. It's absolutely repulsive, this is abs this is gross. This is one of the grossest things I've ever heard. Oh, my strong hands sliding over your skin! <laughs> well. Oh, I feel ill. This man is making me feel sick. Oh my the attractive man, it's your okay. is, is that Is that really what they said? Hey, man. What, what what are these test these aren't real fucking testimonials where's the where's the hot babes where's the models to turn around through text so just close your eyes and just listen to the sound Brother of my ball that's not what we what we imagine to my ball is coming up your leg sliding on your skin I don't think this is... People are trying to go to sleep and get a fucking rod on. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna start my own channel, Jason. Well, yeah, you better start it up on bloody Pornhub if that's the sort of thing you're gonna be making. <laughs>